Better Bulldozer, one of the most useful mod and one of your good buddies who help you out in dark times when you have done something wrong or want to remove some annoying things from life. Game. So let's see how to use Better Bulldozer or what is this mod. Well, Better Bulldozer is made by your favorite Yen Yang who has also made Recolor, Anarchy, Water Features and Tree Controller. Better Bulldozer allows you to delete your normal stuff but also some of the small things that you won't be able to delete with Vanilla Bulldozer tool like deleting these fans, removing advertisement banners, removing the surfaces etc. You are greeted with a lot of buttons when you enter Better Bulldozer mode which is your normal B key. So from top and left to right you have anarchy toggle, underground mode, a bunch of filters like we saw in move it tutorial down in description which we will dig deeper later and lots of tools which are useful in their own ways and some of them also work in conjunction to each other. So what does anarchy do? Well anarchy plays an important role if you have used anarchy while placing things while making your build so for example if i try to go and delete the road with anarchy disabled i can't the game won't allow me but if you enable anarchy you can bypass the errors and do the thing underground mode is pretty self-explanatory this is one of the model options you get just enable it and you can see the underground and delete accordingly now moving on to filters, these filters are important and helps out people like me who fat finger delete something that shouldn't be deleted. <laughs> so at first you have surface filter where you can only delete surfaces that you have placed and not the ones in the buildings. Then we move on to network filter where you can delete roads and pathways and then we have buildings filter which deletes all the buildings and so on for all the filters which delete trees plants decals and props you can also stack these filters with each other or just remove any one filter out of all etc quite a lot of combinations that are possible now moving on to tool mode which are important in their own terms Starting on with removing sub elements tool, this tool lets you delete sub elements in a building like benches, lights, trees, etc. This tool comes with its own set of filters. So, at first, we have selection. So, you can either select single item, so deleting one by one, then we have deleting exact match so this deletes all sub building all sub elements that are same prop or asset for example over here in this high school i can delete all these trees or benches or pergolas at once the third selection deletes elements that come in same category so best example i can give is here with this golfers mansion you can see this building has different types of trees but if I choose delete similar category, I can delete all the types of trees at once as the trees comes in a category of tree. Similarly with lights or rocks or plants, etc. This setting can come really useful in a few years of time when we have asset data and when people will have different lights or props in the same asset and you can delete all at once if you wish to do so. So moving on to the next tier which has all these same settings but for sub buildings or upgrade buildings that you add. So this gives you an option such that you don't delete sub elements in all the buildings including an upgrade building. One thing to note though, if you place a sub building separately, you can delete sub elements from this first tier only so you are not bound by using second tier only. Now moving on to second tool, this deletes all the things that are related to simulation or animation. So moving vehicles or sim, this is more of a tool that you should be careful of. And one thing that this tool is safe to delete are Sully's propable sims. 
so for example if we place these ploppable sims we can come to this radius selection and delete them you cannot delete the sims via single selection so only valid for radius selection now we come to bypass confirmation tool so ever happened that you are placing some things and you placed them wrong and when you go to delete them you have to confirm that yes i want to delete this building well this just bypasses that and you can delete them as easy as you do for zone buildings saving some extra step so this includes service building signature buildings etc next in the line we have net lanes so this tool helps you to delete net lanes that you place with extra assets menu so for net lanes we have these miscellaneous things then we have fences then we have some actual road markings so you can delete all of these with this tool similarly we have remove markers tool this deletes any static thing so for example animal spawner or hidden parking decal or points etc but if you are deleting something present inside a building do make sure to enable sub elements tool as it won't delete the whole building and now you know that you can stack tools as well so the second thing this tool deletes are the invisible road so if you have made any custom parking lots or messed with invisible road you can delete them via this tool pretty handy and again if you delete anything coming from a building have the sub elements tool active otherwise the whole building will get deleted and at last we come to surface tool so remember when i told you that with only the surface filter you cannot delete any surface present in building well with this tool you can do that you can also delete other surfaces that you placed so this doesn't bound you for only deleting surface present in a building the other filter helps you to delete those areas that you zone and out of all couple of work you know we are talking about these hang around areas so for this we'll need to jump to my other city so over here i have made some custom farms to make this you first make this hang around area and then you place animal spawners inside them and the animals won't go out of this hang around area so perfect for making cattle farms so with this tool you can delete this hang around area so this was better bulldozer tutorial and i hope you learned something and now you can fix all the mistakes you make whether intentionally or by fat fingering the mouse <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then please hit like and if you want to see more of these tutorials or detailing guide or these realistic build make sure to hit subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one till then peace